What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I have decided to film a little day in my life today. Um, it is my last day <laughs> with like mascara under my eyes, I need to shower. I was gonna grab something while I was over here. Does anyone else do that? Oh, this. Um, I just feel like vlogging today. It's my last day off, I took a week. Hey, uh-uh. I took a week off of work and today is sadly my last day off. It's Friday and um, I'm just gonna hang out today, get some stuff done. I have laundry that I need to finish. I need to run to Urban Outfitters to return something. And Kyle may go look at a truck today because he needs to buy a truck. So we're doing all the fun things today and then I think I'm gonna hang out with my friend later. But I just thought, why not vlog a day in a life today? Because I wasn't really sure what else to film, uh-uh, to film this week. So I figured today I would film. I just made lunch and I wanted to show you guys what I made. So I'm very, I'm very proud of myself. So this is sourdough bread that's toasted. And we have, um, ooh, you see that? Ooh, yum. We have avocado with some seasoning at the bottom. This is an impossible burger, so it's not real meat. It's like plant-based. Some nice cheese, egg on top. Same thing for me. I love sourdough bread. I know they say that like Ezekiel bread is supposed to be the best bread for your digestive system. Um, which is fine, <laughs> but, and I don't, I think sourdough bread is honestly not that bad too. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure sourdough, I heard someone say, I feel like, doesn't mean it's true, but I feel like I heard someone say that sourdough bread is also not that bad compared to like other breads. I like sourdough bread because I think it tastes good and if I'm gonna eat gluten, like I want it to at least taste good. So I am always use sourdough bread for literally everything. I use it for my avocado toast. Two, I'm gonna get some water. Um, sometimes I put peanut butter on Kyle's. I didn't this time because he didn't ask me to. But also my brother ordered me these. They're Lemon Perfects. I don't know if you guys have ever had them. They're so good and you can order them on Amazon now and they're so worth it, guys. Like, they're so, so, so good. They're like five calories, zero sugar. It's so, it's like healthy juice. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I was getting something out of here, water. I am going to eat my sandwich now. I don't know which one I want. I'm gonna give Kyle the bigger one. <laughs> mm. So good. All right, I'm gonna finish eating this, which I'm not sure that that's cooked. Although I don't know how to tell when they're cooked. It says to cook for eight minutes, so that's what I cook it for. I'm gonna go watch my Big Fat Gypsy Wedding. TLC is like my guilty pleasure channel <laughs> where I watch 90 Day Fiance, Big Fat Gypsy Wedding, Four Weddings, Say Yes to Dress, like all those terrible TV shows that I just cannot get enough of. So I'm gonna go sit there and watch this and then eventually I'm gonna have to switch over the laundry, so. I wish you could look at Coda. He's trying to be sneaky. You're not sneaky. Hey! <laughs> I'm gonna try to make, my friend Miriam told me about this like mango sorbet thing you can make where you just take like coconut, milk, and frozen mangoes and you just blend it together and then freeze it. And she said it's really good and that's healthy and sounds yummy and it's dairy free. So I think I'm gonna try that. Maybe I should just like make that right now so I can try it later. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna use my bullet to make this you need mangoes coconut cream and then my little bullet Know what this tastes like? If you've ever been to Disney and had their Dole Whip, that's what this tastes like. I feel like I should put some chocolate in it. Just like a little bit, like some dark chocolate. I'll just do that when I serve it. And now we wait. And while we do that, I'm gonna cut in to this lava cake. There's some ice cream right there, but I'm gonna cut in for you guys 
to see. Ooh, wow, look at that. Eat this, I'm gonna keep watching my Big Fat Gypsy wedding, get the last bit of the laundry out of the dryer and fold it, and then I'm gonna go shower and then go to Urban Outfitter. So that's what's on the, on the slate for today. I hope you guys like that little <laughs> impromptu sorbet making, sherbet sorbet, I don't know what you call it, but. All right, guys, I got my mask on. The laundry is in the basement of the building, so I have to go down there to do my laundry. So I'm like walking around in my PJs at 1.30 p.m. on a Friday. <laughs> Love that for me. I'm gonna fold the laundry. I'm not putting Kyle's laundry away. I will wash his clothes, but I refuse to put them away. Guys, I'm putting away my laundry and I am so sad because look, there's this huge gaping rip in my leggings. And those are Lululemon. And that's the second pair of leggings I got from there that did that. And I think it's this material. Like when you don't get the more like spandexy material, but the softer material, I think they just don't last as long. I also <laughs> rotate through my leggings weekly because I wear them to work out and I wear like the same eight pair of leggings in rotation. So I think they're just getting like really worn out because I've worn them so much, um, probably more than there's, especially these. Like I feel like you're not, <laughs> the dog's cages, I, they're just too big to fit anywhere else. So anyways, they're just like, I don't know. I feel like these are supposed to be like lounge yoga, like don't wash them as frequently as I wash them. And I think that's why two pair of them have ripped, but I'm very sad because those are my favorite type of Lululemon. Like they're so soft and comfy, but I don't think I can get those kind anymore. So I am down a pair of leggings. So now I have to find another black pair because I love those pair. So that is very upsetting that that just happened. So if you guys are getting Lululemon leggings, maybe don't get that type, get this type the more like spandexy because I've had these for like five years and they're still in perfect shape. They don't even look bad. Like they look like I just got them. So maybe just get the spandexy ones instead of the soft material ones, even though I love the soft material ones and I don't even dry them. That's the thing. Like they say not to dry your leggings from there because it helps them last longer. So I don't even dry them. All I do is wash them and then I let them air dry. So I'm really upset that that just happened. All right, guys, I am heading out to go to Urban Outfitters to return these. I actually bought them, because you can't try anything on on the store, so I bought them, tried it on, didn't fit, got another size. This still doesn't fit, so I already exchanged them. I think I need one more size up, honestly, but I just don't feel like it, so I think I'm just gonna return them and shop around. Maybe I'll find something else. I feel like jeans are my biggest struggle when it comes to clothes because still trying to figure out what size I am in jeans. That's another tip I have for you guys who are trying to love their body more is if clothes don't fit you, get rid of them and buy things your size that make you look good and feel good. So taking these back, I'm going to walk because it's beautiful outside and it's right down the street. So I'm not going to drive. I'm going to walk and here we go. Okay two seconds away from it it's really, really nice it's literally a five minute walk and there's the stadium it is literally right next to the stadium which is super nice we live so close to the stadium which is also super nice kyle loves it he has like a one minute commute to work <laughs> so that's super nice i could also walk to work which is the point so I'm like also like a five to ten minute walk away from work, which is very nice. It's literally such a gorgeous day. I like it because I'm barely breaking a sweat right now because it finally feels like cool. A lot cooler than it usually is. They have a restaurant outside of Golden One right now and they're playing live music and I think that's so fun. I also stopped at this bakery that's right there because I've always wanted to go in. So I figured why not now? This lighting is not great, apologies. So I figured why not now? And I went in and I got a cream cheese Danish, I think is what I got. 
Um, I'm very excited to eat it, but they had the yummiest looking treats there. Really had to hold myself back. Show you what I got, and I exchanged those pants and ended up only spending five dollars. So that's nice. Um, also, my friend Janessa gave me these chocolate rice cakes, and if you if you like rice cakes, first of all, if you've not had the chocolate rice cakes, you need to try them because she kept telling me to and I never did. And I ran into her and she gave me those and they are so good. Like I'm probably going to eat all those today. Um, I got these jeans instead because I don't really have like a darker wash jean. So they're just like the boyfriend, like more wide cut loose fitting jean. These are like the only jeans I wear now. I don't really wear skinny jeans anymore. I just feel like these jeans are the most flattering for my body and they're high waisted. This I took a video of me trying on. It's like a cute little, it doesn't look cute now, but it's like a wrap skirt. Last thing that I got, it was on sale, is this cute little top. I've been buying a lot of cheetah print type things lately. I don't know why I'm so into it, but I got that cute little top. And those were the three things that I got from Urban. It's a lot later, as you can see, it is dark outside. It is 722. It gets, dark. it gets dark early now, which is very upsetting, but Kyle and I are going to a Ford dealership for him to look at some trucks right now. In the dark. What should I eat? <laughs> Don't know how great that is. I'm, they'll probably have a little late. Kyle says he knows all about his trucks now. <laughs> Just like that, that's how he said it. And we're here. Wow. So many trucks. <laughs> just along for the ride and to make sure he doesn't take anything too expensive <laughs> is that something I would do? it is something you would do is it yeah hello i realized that i never ended this vlog last night kyle and i went to shake shack for dinner after looking at the trucks and um I just got a Shake Shack burger with a gluten-free bun and it was very yummy. Anyways, it's obviously the next day. I'm still in the same t-shirt. It's 2.15, so don't judge me. I've been working all morning. This is like the one hour I'm about to like start working more. But I really wanted to try, ooh, I think I froze this too much. I really wanted to try this, but it's like super, super frozen. It froze more like an icy when I wanted more of like a ice cream texture. But looking at it, you know, it tastes good. I think next time I make this, I'll make it into popsicles instead of like this. Because this is just like icy. The sound, I don't have time to sit here and figure this out. But by looking at it, it tastes good. <laughs> I just want something sweet right now, but I don't have anything sweet in the house. And like, I know why I do that. I purposefully don't have sweet things in the house, so I'm not eating sweet things all day. Like I got this, it's gluten-free, and it's pretty good, but it just like doesn't fit the craving that I'm trying to satisfy. So I don't really know what to do. I think I'm just gonna make another lava cake. If I'm honest with you, I'm gonna do that really quick so I can get back to work. But I just wanted to come on here and try that, but it didn't really work out, so that was a fail. Um, but thank you guys so much for, I don't know why I just fell. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will catch you in my next video.